everybody, welcome back to the John Brown Show. Glenn Fricker here from Spectre Sound Studios on loan to John's show. John, thanks so much for having me on the show. We're having a wonderful time here at 42 Gear Street. And uh, you stole yeah. my intro. Yeah, exactly. I love it. Well, I didn't want people to fall asleep because he's, you know, did you listen to that? Welcome back to my channel. It's like you're very British. And it's I am like, very British. You're a very, very BBC cheese show. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, this is how oh, we make yeah. cheddar cheese. It's like, okay, you Brits are pretty good with the cheese, though. Yeah. I really want to come over to England and watch the, you know, the rolling the cheese down the hill thing. Oh, that looks that, like yeah. a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm going to have to invite you the next time you're in Europe. We'll okay. do the cheese thing. Anyway, I'm just super excited to be on John's show. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy to be here, seriously, though. Oh. Thanks so much for having me. This, this is a lot of fun. Anyway, just thought I'd steal your <laughs> fucking intro. <laughs> that fun well, there. thanks, man. Yeah, and, I'm, and I wanted him to show me how to get a guitar tone, actually, from the United And I'm like, what are you fucking? Fucking crazy! All they do is yell at me on my show. Your tone sucks, lad. Your tone sucks. You fucking sucks. I can get away better with a preset. Yes, yes, you can. So <laughs> well, good for you, and I'm glad somebody else did the heavy lifting and dialed everything in for you. <laughs> Basically, Glenn does not like an amp that I really like, which is the Line Six stuff. And I'm sure no, 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 that's not true. The the the, the Helix is fucking quite excellent. The Podgo more, was great. It's more the one you smashed up. Oh, what you like the you like the spiders? Yeah. Oh, get well soon. Fuck. What the is Spider that? series uses the technology from the original Pod XT. Which I could never get a good sound out of. Okay, so for me, the Pod XT is like the holy grail of Line 6. So it shows. It goes to show that we can't like everything. Yeah, apparently. Wow, if that's your holy grail, wow. Whoa. Dude, if you not listen to the piezo acoustic sound on it, it's amazing. Okay. Okay. I'll, say, I'll so, send you a patch. All right. Okay, because every time I've tried to dial in something heavy with like some of the Line 6 stuff, the early Line 6 stuff, and it's always just sounded like fried assholes to me. Okay, I understand that. I think it's because you have to cut 5.2 kilohertz by 6 dB, and then it opens it all up. Okay, so nobody ever mentioned that part. Also, with Big Bottom, if you turn the treble down to zero, it opens it up to... Okay, interesting. All right, okay, okay. so learning things here, learning things. <laughs> but I was going to say, they, the, uh, the, the Line 6 amps are great. They explode really well. When you, <laughs> when you pack them full of Tannerite and hit them with a rifle around from an AR-15, you know, we've, <laughs> we've, we did make that video, and that was lots of fun. I but can imagine, yeah. That, I mean, it looked fun. I, I was going to say, though, they, they did step it up with the, uh, what, the, the Spider 5 Mark II. The Mark I was not so great because I had the tweeter on it and that kind of shit. Yeah. But they did upgrade the firmware, and the Mark II was actually a lot better. There you go. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, no, I'll they, they got better. But when, when uh, last year when they put out the pod go, I'm like, okay, no, this is a great entry level piece of gear. There we yeah. go. And, and uh, they really stepped up their game. So I can't rip on line six like I used to because they <laughs> did listen to the criticism and they did get better. But what are we talking about line six, six here for? We want to talk about angle like this thing. And this thing. Yes, yes, yes. That's uh, the, they've, We've got these insane aluminum guitars. Yes, yeah, this, so this is, is a bagule. Bagule. And these things weigh a metric fuck ton. Like, mm. look at this shit. And, you know, it's like solid aluminum necks and then like fucking neck through body. Like th these things are heavy. Yeah. But they've, what's, what's the tagline? Sustain, infinite, infinite sustain? Eternal, Eternal sustain. sustain. It's just like. I can even do it with the amp. So yeah, yeah. Okay. Here, that here works. We yeah. So we can actually hear something. Ow. Fuck. <laughs> Yeah, we're picking up a bit of noise, but yeah, it's just the sustain on these guitars is just ridiculous. Yeah, and obviously, you know, we've seen aluminum neck guitars before, um, but I've good. never actually tried one. Neither have I. Um, so I'm really excited to play this through the Angle Marty Friedman, which again, loads of people haven't really tried this amp. This amp's really cool. This is first, my first time seeing it. It's also, do you know any details on it? How much power there is? Any of that shit? I actually know absolutely nothing about it. Oh, that's it. That makes it even more fun. So we can't exactly can't get. We haven't pre-ordained this video. Yeah, we don't know any of the specs, so it's just like, let's turn some knobs and see if it sounds good. I know two things. Marty Friedman's sick, and Engel makes sick amps. Yep, I, I will agree. I will agree with that. Yeah, so. Yep, and yeah, what, Marty Friedman's still in Japan, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Yeah, and he's you know, got a whole fucking post, career post-Megadeth, and good for him. Yeah, he's, uh, I mean, when you look at him play, I mean, obviously, Cacophony as well. We, we always forget that he was in Cacophony with Jason that, Becker. That's true. And, you know, I think he's, you know, more than earned his uh, great guitar status. Oh yeah, he's incredible. Yeah. yeah, and everyone always remembers his solos from Megadeth. Oh yeah, yeah it's <laughs> like, yeah, I mean like, 
I, I'm a huge Megadeth fan, like yep. especially you know the first, you know mid '80s to early '90s, right up until right up until about till Countdown to Extinction. I was really into Megadeth, but uh, you know. Rust in Peace was just such a brilliant, brilliant record <laughs> on, on so many levels. And, and yeah, yeah, Marty Friedman's guitar playing on that was, had a obscene. lot to do with it. It's obscene. Like, yeah, yeah. It's, it's so fucking clean and just so well thought out. And it's like, oh, fuck's sakes. Was, <laughs> the, the, the phrase was back then, uh, yeah, Marty plays with a lot of love. Dave plays with a lot of hate. That's actually completely true, isn't it? Obviously, yeah, Dave was really fucking angry for a very long time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's, 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 what, what a great fucking record. Anyway, let's, yeah. let's check this thing out. Do we want to check out both channels, or what do we want yeah, to Yeah, let's just do the distorted channel for now, and I've got it mic'd up with two Lewitt mics over here through a cab. Let's have a listen to what it sounds like. Okay. chord sounds so good with this guitar it, it was, is insane i was gonna say there's a there's a mid boost on this amp here and that just really adds it like if we if we play a little bit and just switch this in and just watch this go for a sec as nolly would say it adds the throat it really does it just yeah. fattens it up quite a bit and it's like it does the scoop thing really well, but yep. I, re I think I like it a little more with that mid boost. Definitely, place. it and makes it, it bigger. Yeah. It? Well, yeah. if I was going to use it on a record as well, I, that's probably what I'd want is, is that mid boost in place, just to kind of fatten things up a little bit and get it out of the way of the bass guitar, that kind of thing. Exactly, and also it's better to have a little bit of something there rather than trying to add it later if it's not correct. Yeah, you can always cut. Exactly, and the guitar is a mid range instrument, so you want some mid range there, don't you? Yes. Uh, well, don't tell anybody who played guitar in the eighties, especially <laughs> especially thrash guitar. You know, it's like just like we. I remember you know, loading up boss EQs and amps and like scooping all those mids out and all. It sounds great when you're by yourself, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> it's like, this is so awesome that we can't hear anything on stage. Oh, but, 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 but. <laughs> yeah, but it sounds off. No, yeah, it, it, it takes a long time to get your head around that. Yes. I, that's a video I need to make at some point is like, I always do demos you know, and people always say, oh, your tone sucks, your tone sucks. No, I'm thinking, how is this going to work in context of a mix with other instruments going not just by itself? Exactly. And that's how I always, always do all my amps is for how it's going to work on a client's record, not for how it's going to sound on itself. Exactly. On its yeah, I mean, a lot of people spend a lot of time literally listening to their Axifexes, their Helixes, their amps, whatever it is, without actually listening to it with drums and bass. <laughs> what use is that? Exactly. Well, Zero. yeah. Well, I don't know. If you're a total guitar wanker, it's all kinds of use because you know the guitar is the most important thing, and you're going to mix that the loudest, the loudest anyway. <laughs> I, I don't know. When it's a whole band mix, though, it yeah. has to be that it works together because yeah. when you listen to a mix yeah. and people say, "Oh, I love the guitar tone on this record," yeah, but it's not just the guitar tone you're hearing. Right. You're hearing the bass mixed with it, the kick drum hitting at certain times, and you're hearing all these different frequency bands hitting with the guitar. So I think yeah. it's really important to. Get a guitar sound that works with what you're doing with drum space and everything else. Right, exactly. And this has got the mids to deliver the goods in that respect. Exactly. And you can always cut that mid frequency that makes it sound like Metallica, a little bit of a smiley face. Studio. Somewhere in the four or five hundred yeah. region, usually. You yeah. know, I, I mean, going, depending on what the guitar is tuned to, I think, you know, you need yeah. to go a little bit, a little bit lower. lower for low exactly. But, but you, know, you, you definitely don't cut around 600 hertz. It's more around the 500 yeah. region. You know what I mean? That's, you know, uh, one kilohertz is like where you're going to hear hear the most that's what your ears are tuned to that's like you know the nominal frequency for for human hearing that's why the um, emergency broadcast system uh signal is one kilohertz really so it'll just grab your attention immediately that's really interesting so i always thought it was like we were really sensitive to 2.5 to 3.5 because it's the baby screaming frequency there's that too but i, I heard i heard that, that that's i read somewhere that the human ear is most sensitive at one kilohertz but oh. for some reason when it comes to guitar tone it's right around the 500 region because that's right where the boxiness is i don't know what i'm i don't even know what i'm doing that's why glenn's Oh. So he's educated me right now. <laughs> so the angle amp sounds fucking great. The angle amp does sound fucking great. You want to try a different guitar? Yeah, let's try another one. Let's, let's grab one of these other fucking these. Okay, we've got some actives in here. This looks cool. Oh, let's have a little go of this. So this one's the aluminum neck, but it's got a wooden mahogany body, I believe. Yeah. And what, what type of pickups? Those are our Hagel pickups Omnia. 
Okay, I hope any I hope somebody understood that because I sure as fuck didn't. <laughs> Did it quickly so it didn't hurt everyone. This is a way heavier guitar. So this, I think, this is like the neck through. And this one's hollow, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Oh wow. So that this one's, one. That one's got a, the other one's got a bit of neck dive. This one's a little bit better balanced. This one weighs more than a Les Paul. Yeah. Oh yeah. By quite a long way. Brighter. Yes. Much brighter. That snarls like a pig. I like that. It it's, got, like it's got a bit more attack on it, actually. I like that. Yeah. And it's definitely the more in the high mids as well. It's more high I want to record that guitar. Yeah. And I normally don't like active pickups that much, but... That sounds really fucking cool. Yeah. Are these any... Do any push-pull action? No. No. No, just a three-way switch volume. I guess toe. He said three-way. Is this an ongoing joke, Lynn? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> We found so, out about Glenn today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, no, that was just a Hey Beavis moment. <laughs> <laughs> hey Beavis, he said three-way. <laughs> yep. Dude, these guitars sound absolutely fantastic. As you can tell, there's loads of sustain, lots of attack. The sustain is probably the most insane thing I've ever heard on an instrument. That, um, yeah, that, that does have quite amazing sustain. And these are these are all handmade in Germany, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. And uh, we'll have some links at the in the description below where you can go check the guitars out. But these are seriously cool. I got to say, I was really blown away by the action on these guitars. It's Love. very and and this is the thing. There's no truss rod. These are basically these are solid blocks of aluminum. You know, they're not going to shift either way. It's just going to be set. It's just going to be set. Yes. And, yeah. and so it doesn't matter. It's not really going to be susceptible to temperature either. It's just going to fucking. I mean, like it's metal. It will uh, expand and contract a little bit, but you're not going to get you know like the, the the wood thing. You know, I mean, like I don't know about your studio, but at my place. If you get more than three people in yeah. for any amount of time, the necks start doing this, and you got to keep retuning the guitars all the, really? all the time because the humidity buildup in the control room gets a little insane. That's interesting, actually. You've never noticed that? No. Now, now you've mentioned it, though, that's probably why my guitars keep getting fucked up when Adam comes into my studio. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, you could literally, and the good thing about this as well, if you take it on tour, the TSA aren't going to completely fuck it. If anything, it's going to fuck them. <laughs> That's a fucking good point. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. Yeah. What a wonderful guitar. You should have a little foot feel oh, as well. Yeah, I'm not going to embarrass myself too much here. <laughs> but uh, pick. Yep. Oh, yes. Yeah, so there you go. Yep. yep. Came, to a good, came to a guitar thing. Didn't bring a pick. <laughs> Yeah, that's savage as fuck. Yeah, that's 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 really snarly. That's got a bit of that old Metallica feel. Actually, yeah, it too. really does, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah, especially with that angle. Yeah, it seems like angle. it's voiced for that kind of period of time. Yeah, I would think so. That's 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 pretty fucking cool. Actually, it's a cool. Like it's a cool sound together for what sure. What do we got over here? Let's grab one more. Yeah. Oh, okay. And this is just a single, a single uh, pickup model. Let's. Uh, there we go. Now you're thinking. Yeah. I'll trade you. Okay, let's trade. Okay. There we go. And that's even heavier, I think. Yeah, it's got more, more wood to the body, isn't it? It's a bigger body, so. And this is made in mahogany as well, right? Okay. The the other the, the downside is if you're going out on tour of these things, they weigh a fucking ton. But this yeah. looks like something Glenn Tipton would have played back in the Turbo days. <laughs> Oh my god, that's, that's fucking cool. I think I'm in love with that thing. Holy shit, this that sounds, sounds incredible. This wow. sounds really good. If I may. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Came from I like <laughs> this. This does sit pretty well for, you know, classical position, that kind of thing. So that's cool. That's just fucking holy shit, though. <laughs>
Yeah, that's fucking sweet. It sounds unbelievable. Like it's... <laughs> Just gotta put a little foam behind the nut, I think. But uh, other than that, that's really cool. Yeah, it, it, it's eternal sustain, especially these up here. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you guys have any seven strings available? Not yet. Are you planning on it? Maybe. Maybe. That's maybe seven strings. So this one had low, more low end snarl. Did you notice that it was like full? A little bit, yeah. It was a little fuller, but it still had that wonderful attack to it yeah, as well. Yeah, it did. Okay, so there we go. That's the uh, how the hell do we pronounce that again? Bagule. Bagule. Not not. Bagley. 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 Not not Balaguer. That's a that's a U.S. brand. <laughs> this is Bagule and the Angle stuff as well and the Lewitt mics. Yeah. So there we go. That what are we using? The 440 DM and. Uh, what, it's what? the MTP 440 and then the 240 Pure. I can never remember the names of the Lewitt mics. It's kind of like Ibanez. Yeah, it's like, it's got this, <laughs> I'm like, why don't you guys come up with cooler names? It's shit that's easier to remember. Oh, let's do exactly. it all coded. Yeah. I understand the coding system, but yeah, cooler I, names would be cool. Yeah, I can, I can never fucking remember the names. Just call it the Lewitt Tom mic, the Lewitt guitar mic, you know, that kind of shit. <laughs> It'd be so much easier. Even, even Engel have numbers for their amps, but they also have names. Yes, that's exactly. That's smart, you see, that's why yeah. they're smart. Engel is smart. All right. <laughs> we better wrap it up, though. I'm yep. sure people want to get up here and get some shit done. So Exactly, they do. Well, thanks very much for watching my YouTube channel. Thanks to Glenn for being a wonderful host. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as always, links in the description below. Check yep. out all the cool stuff, especially these guitars. They're fucking sick. Yeah, they're very, very good. All right. Thanks so much for having me on the show, John. Catch you next time. And thank you very much, Glenn. Oh, thank you. All right. Bye.